up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG video on my channel. Today we check out Excadrill Delmice in action on a TCG online match. I talked about it before in the last episode, episode 120, so definitely check the weekly episodes on Wednesday if you haven't already because there I talk in detail about this deck. So uh, uh, the, 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 the strategy is actually simple for uh, the viewers that are new. We use Excadrill to use Math Claw time after time using Omega Barrage and dealing that damage uh, and boosting the damage with Dalmice. For each Dalmice out, we deal an extra 10 damage. Choice Band is in there dealing more damage to EXs and GXs. Then there's Kukuri to deal even more damage and then uh, all the rest is pretty much basic. We have a Hex Maniac. Uh, in certain situations, this might be ideal. And then Bridget. So. Uh, I said this was a, a budget deck, you don't actually need Shaman and Tapulele, but I'm actually uh, running these as well, just to get the speedy deck out. So uh, yeah, if we get anything out on the, the second turn, we can show how good uh, the Excadrill deck really is. So for now, we are just gonna check it out on the TCG Online match. Hopefully this uh, opponent that I uh, will be facing has a great competitive deck, so that way we can show that Excadrill Dalmize is a deck you don't want to mess with. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are stoked. If you are, definitely show your support by destroying the like button and then leaving something in the comment section about what deck you are currently running. Okay, it's looking for an opponent and uh, I'm actually kind of curious. We are a metal type, so hopefully we can face Alolan Ninetales or uh, Sylveon. That way we can show that dealing super effective damage against those top decks is awesome. So we are facing... Uh, yeah, Lightning, Psychic, Carlos Fighting deck, so this is probably maybe a Lycanroc deck, but I'm not too sure about it, so we have to wait and see. We lost the coin flip, which is not good, because we need to evolve uh, time after time, so we start with a Drill Burr, of course. Standard stuff here, because we do run for Drill Burr. I cannot promise you guys that we will win, but I will definitely show you what the Excadrill deck is capable of. We cannot start, which is not good. Okay, we're facing Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko has zero weakness and zero resistance, so uh, yeah, lucky for us we don't run the evolutions in this deck. We just run the pure damage output with Excadrill. So this Lightning deck is probably running Lycanroc to snipe around, uh, just to evolve to the Lycanroc uh, Midnight form and just uh, choose a target from the bench. The good thing is that uh, we already have a DCE and that the, the uh, Tapu Koko deck does need a couple of turns to get going because yeah, it needs three energies. As he has the Tapu Lele, wow, Tapu Lele, a wonderful card from uh, the uh, Guardians Rising set. Also having uh, zero weakness, so two Tapus on the field of my opponent. Uh, as a fun fact, the Tapu Bulu tin will come out uh, tomorrow on the 19th of May, so definitely get yourself a copy of that, because Tapu Bulu is actually kind of good in grass decks. So we see a Sycamore coming off, and uh, wow, it does run Electrode. So maybe I can attack on the, yeah, its second turn. This is kind of scary already to see that the... Uh, yeah, he's running a lightning deck that is kind of fast. If he has Electrode, he can attack on the second turn, so that is not good at all. Okay, what do we have? We have options here. First off, I'm gonna use Ultra Ball here, getting rid of the Lysander and the VS Seeker. We do have another VS Seeker, maybe I should have gotten rid of the energy, but yeah, we need to get stuff out. I'm actually gonna get out another Drill Burr here. Because I predict that he will definitely one-shot the other Drill Burr. We can get back the energies uh, with the special charge, the double car. So I'm gonna get rid... Actually, uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of... Yeah, we do run special charge, but we do run more metal energies. So the thing here is uh, I want to get out stuff uh, quickly as possible. We can get out Shaman or Tapu Lele. The thing I'm gonna do here is get out Tapu Lele because Shaman can easily get uh, sniped and uh, one-shot it. So Tapu Lele getting out. We're also gonna attach a DCE to the benched Drill Burr because that one does need, uh, yeah, that first one the uh, on the active position will get uh, knocked out next turn. We can get out Bridget, uh, building up the bench like that. But uh, I think the best play here is of course getting the Sycamore because uh, right now we don't have any other cards in our hand. So this means we don't have to discard anything. We have the Sycamore, poof, we already have extra Drill. We can use escape rope, but that won't do much in this situation. Definitely gonna get out the Skyfield here because otherwise we deal 30 less damage. And uh, yeah, we do have the ability to use escape rope, which might be ideal because he does not have uh, yeah another one of those attackers ready. But he does need three energies. If he has the electrode, he can attack. But we're not uh, worried that much. So I'm actually gonna leave it at this. We can also escape rope for the uh, yeah the Tapu Lele here. Could be ideal if he has a ton of energies we could strike back hmm what am i gonna do escape rope could be fun okay 
next turn I will be able to deal more damage, so I'm actually gonna leave it at that for now. I'm gonna sacrifice one drill burr. We do run rescue stretcher, so no biggie right there. Alright, the thing we need is uh, to one-shot these guys. So he has the VSC, we're definitely gonna see a Sycamore again. He's attaching another energy, so if he has another Tapu Koko, he can get all the energies to that one. If he has an Electrode, he can explode it and uh, get more energies into play. So we see another Eater's Paradise Conservation Area. Okay, fun. Max Elixir coming down. So his bench is entirely full. This is good. With that, he cannot bench another Tapu Koko. So we're kind of good on this situation. Alright, what will we do? First of all, uh, yeah, let's use an escape rope here and see what the opponent will get out. He does have resistance to that uh, metal, so that is uh, definitely not good, but we're gonna evolve to Excrel regardless. Uh, yeah, the thing I'm gonna do here is actually use Ultra Ball and uh, get out the Shaman here to draw into more cards and then use Sycamore later. We do need another Skyfield to get our Dalmites going. Let's draw some cards, drawing five of them and then use Sycamore. Hopefully we can get anything we want. Skyfield, yeah, there is the Skyfield. Let's just get that out of the way. Get my uh, Drill Burr ready. Also, uh, we can use Sycamore here, but won't do that much. Uh, yeah, let's see. Who do we attach the Choice Band to? Uh, yeah, this one has 120 HP, we do, do deal 20 less damage, but it isn't affected by resistance, so that is good, so they won't cause us that much trouble. We one-shot this guy, which is good. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna attach it to the bench uh, drill burr, because I do expect that this extra drill will get one-shotted. Hopefully we get a metal energy. Yes, there we have the metal energy, boof. Another extra drill is ready, and we can even get a... Uh, yeah, if someone gets knocked out, do some shenanigans. We also got a badge of Dalmice. If he uses a uh, Eater's Paradise Conservation Area, we can just get rid of that Shaman and we're good. Okay, Match Claw. Now we're seeing the strength of this Excadrill. We can attack twice, so we deal 50 damage, which is kind of weird. We deal 20 less damage. Okay, so this is, of course, not one-shotting this guy. All right, we didn't use Kukui. We needed another Dalmice, but yeah. We definitely need damage on the board. So this, that's why we're dealing this uh, amount of damage. Also, yeah, we don't one-shot this guy, so this is unfortunate. Alright, what else can we do? We needed another Delmai, so uh, yeah, that didn't do much. We uh, definitely have the opportunity to strike back later, so uh, if he has another Tapu Koko, he can bench it and just start attacking with that. Also, the Fighting Fury Belt is kind of huge. We do have the Professor Kukui next turn, so maybe we can one-shot something, or maybe we don't. Okay, there's a Tapu Koko coming our way, which actually can do a lot of damage with that Sky High Claw. Okay, Kukui even to one-shot us, of course. Max Elixir, wow! A lot of things coming down with this Lightning deck. And boom! Our first Excadrill hits the discard. Okay, okay, I can live with that. Another Excadrill, let's go! Alright, what will we do? First of all, let's just get that Choice Band onto the other Drill Burr. Using the Rescue Stretcher. And uh, yeah, put a Pokemon from the discard back into the hand. And that will be the Excadrill. Oof! Another Excadrill on the field. We can use VS Seeker to uh, build up our damage. 20 damage, but we can only attack once though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We cannot use Lysander, only Professor Kukui can do something. Or actually we can Lysander, which is, yeah, can be kind of good. We definitely need to put the pressure onto this Tapu Koko. We actually deal, we're only gonna be able to deal 80 damage, but if we use Sycamore, if, do we have N? Okay, cool. Let's just use N, we don't want to re get rid of all those resources just yet. And bang, we use N, hopefully we can get something out. We have this E, which is good. We, ha we also have another Delmice. Okay, here we go, Delmice number 3. We can attach a DCE, and we can also get energies from the discard. I'm just gonna keep those... Uh, yeah, let's just use a DCE here and uh, search your deck for two energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon. 
let's just only attach a metal energy. We have to have the DCE for the uh, Tipu Lele. So for now we can use even Match Claw and boom, we deal. Yeah, 110 damage, which is cool to two shot, two shot this guy. So he needs another Tapu Koko on the field to swap around the energies and use Max Potion. That is the strategy he wants to do. So with Trainer's Mail coming down, Ultra Ball definitely seeing another Tapu Koko. Wow, this is kind of interesting here. He will definitely get another one shot here, but he does have all damage Pokemon if he does not use the uh, Max Potion. All right, we, uh... okay, Electrode, more energies into play. He can attach, he can explode one and attach it to one of his Pokemon. He, it's something he's gonna do. We can get a prize card, cool. So I cannot promise you guys that we will win because Tempo Coco is looking really dangerous. Fury Belt onto the Raikou. He's going to attack with Raikou probably. So if he has Seeker 4, Sycamore. Wow, he's almost decked out. Maybe we can win that way. Okay. The problem is that we cannot use Patch Claw twice because he already one shots every extra bell on our path. But we do have Cobalion left in the deck that actually can do a lot of damage if your if the opponent is not ready for it. All right, what will he do? We have the three Delmice out, which is good. Boom. Okay, okay, not bad. We can use Tapu Lele dealing damage. That can actually work. <laughs> we also have an extra drill. That one can also do the trick here. He still needs some prize cards. Alright, we gonna save that Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele can yeah, maybe one shot this guy. We have to think about it. Hmm. Let's just do it like this. Get our one of our Dalmices out and use a floatstone on that one. Because you never know what can happen. Okay, another Drill Burr, like it, but... Yes, Seeker... <laughs> okay, we have Bridget. We can use Bridget. Getting some else, something else on the bench. Another Delmice. Cool. What do we still have left in the deck? A DCE and a Metal Energy. Okay, cool. Let's retreat to... <laughs> Let's retreat to Tapu Lele here, because we can deal 100 damage. 100 damage is actually enough to one-shot this Tapu Koko, so let's use this as a strategy and retreat later on. So BOOM! Tapu Lele showing some action here. Let's get rid of that Tapu Koko out of the way. Two cards, Sycamore and an energy, which is good. There are still energies left in the deck, so uh, yeah, hopefully we can draw into the DCE or something. Ooh, this is a scary matchup. So this uh, Electro does have a lot of energy, so he is able to deal 50 uh, with 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, 100, 150, 160. Still not getting there. He still needs to attach another energy. Wow. Maybe we should have kept that Tapu Lele on the bench and attacked with Excadrill, but Excadrill can deal a bazillion amount of damage with that Math Claw, Match Claw, whatever. With those four Dalmice on the field, that is awesome. So with that, we deal 90 damage, 180. 180 is definitely enough to one-shot this Raikou. So we'll see how it goes. Does he get out? Oh, it's an N. That is unfortunate because we don't. We need an energy. If we have an energy, we're good with Excadrill. Oh, Field Blower, also not bad. That uh, Floatstone will be yeah, awesome. So, wow! Parallel City pretty much destroying our strategy here. Okay, 90 damage, 180. We do have Field Blower, so maybe one Dalmice can hit the discard. Wow, we still need to discard more stuff. Excadrill can put in some work. Okay, okay. What do we still have left? We still have an Excadrill left. Damage output AD 160, 160 is, yeah, kind of good. Does he have the Aegis Paradise? No, it's a Parallel City. 160, will it be enough? I do think so, 160 is enough to knock this guy out. So, get rid of a Drill Burr, get rid of a 
Delmice. It's the only thing we can do at the moment. Otherwise, our damage output is way too low to even compete. Alright. Tefu Thunder. Or actually, yeah, that Raikou deals a lot of damage. Let's do something funny here. Let's get rid of the Field Blower. Get rid of that Parallel City. And that Fury Belt. Get out of my sight, you guys. And for now, instead of just... Actually, he's concedes. Okay. Uh, with that out of the way, we could have one-shotted that Raikou. Used Hex Maniac with that Tepu Koko. Could not switch around. So yeah, this is the power of Excadrill. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. I'm stoked that this is another budget deck. You don't actually need Shaman. You can use Oranguru instead. Uh, that way you don't get end. Or maybe running an Octillery line if you don't want to uh, yeah, have that expensive EX or GX draw supporters. So anyway... Uh, yeah, that was it for another video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show your support as always. And I will be seeing you guys soon with more TCG content. Have an awesome day, guys. And I'm out. Peace.